welcome back to my channel. Here is today's build and here is the photo that inspired it. You can see that they are quite similar if not identical. So I hope you enjoy this video and I recommend that you have a cup of your favorite drink while you watch. of this house are a fairy witch and her little daughter. I wanted the house to be fantasy, magical, medieval, and fairy tale inspired. And like before, I also wanted it to be very cottage corey. The house is mainly warm tones, so you're going to see lots of brown, orange, and yellow colors. Stone walls are essential when it comes to fairy tale homes. a lot of timber framed walls because they're my favorite and they go so well with this whole medieval theme and I dream of living in a timber framed home in the far future The original photo only included this side of the house, so I tried to make sure that it matched the photo as much as I can. Just as my previous build, this build will also have a lot of ivy on it. also had these cute small pots on the wall which the Sims doesn't have so I had to be a little creative in making them. The debug items can really come in handy if you're looking for new and creative ways to improve or decorate your build. 
So if you haven't tried them before, I highly recommend that you do. I'll include the instructions on the screen. Can we all just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful this side of the house turned out? I mean, it's just magical. Can you imagine having such a garden in your house? I believe that it would bring such immense joy. this little treehouse thing. It's so cute. I actually enjoyed the landscaping in this house. If you remember, in my previous video I said that I do not like it and I find it tedious, but strangely it was different for this house. Over, I just realized that this treehouse thing would have made a perfect place for the little girl to play. It could have made such a cute playhouse. But can you imagine how lovely it would be to sit there on that rug and read a book or paint, perhaps? you are enjoying the music that I picked for this video. I myself really love fantasy type of music. I realize that it is more intense than the music I picked for my last video, but I still think that it's relaxing. For the inside of the house, most of the items I use are from the Realm of Magic pack. They just have the most magical look out of all the furniture, so I thought they'd look perfect in this house.
this video isn't too fast paced for you. If you find that it is, please let me know in the comments so I can work on that in the future. I just didn't want the video to be too long. It was originally about 45 minutes long and I thought like no one would sit for 45 minutes to watch someone build a house in The Sims. So I tried my best to make it go fast and cut the unnecessary parts so that it could end up in a decent length. So yeah, let me know what you think. However, for now, if you are finding it too fast, YouTube has an option to slow down the video, so you can try that. also noticed that in my previous video I was talking too slowly, so I thought I'd speak at a more normal speed for this video, so please also let me know what you prefer. I also wanted to let you know that for my next video, I am going to use my laptop for editing the video. So hopefully you'll notice a difference in the quality of the video and the sound, and also the editing. After all, the editing apps on the phone don't really offer that much options. my videos, I wanted to balance between the amount of talking and music, so I am trying not to blabber too much, but do let me know if you are liking this, or if you want me to talk more or less, I'd really like to know your thoughts. Also, please let me know in the comments what type of vibes you get from this house. What does it remind you of?
This little nook under the stairs is my favorite part of the house. It's very cozy and it's a perfect spot for reading. slash magic room. This is where she would practice magic, brew potions, and do her studies. Wouldn't you agree that all the items from the paranormal stuff back would have been perfect for this house? But unfortunately, I don't have that pack yet. I was supposed to download it, but I had some problems and I'm just going to have to wait till I get the pack. But I am so excited for it and for the interior designer. Pack. Oh, and I made up for forgetting to make a bathroom in my previous build, so I made two bathrooms for this one. absolutely love these hanging plants from the knitting pack. The fastest way to get them is by using the cheat I told you about earlier, which is bb.showlifeeditobjects. I use them all the time in my builds. must have fairy lights. There actually are better mushrooms than these alien looking ones. They're plain white and exactly what I wanted, but I couldn't for the life of me find them. They are in the debug items.
hidden area underneath the tree is very cute and beautiful, but unfortunately it isn't functional. I tried getting my fairy sim in there, but she couldn't go inside. I didn't however try with the small fairy. She probably could fit. I'm not sure though. suggestions for future builds, feel free to comment down below. This build is now complete. Now enjoy the rest of these clips. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next Sunday.